Okay, so welcome to the Resident Evil 3 walkthrough for uh, the remake you know, that came out this year. I'm finally getting uh, the time to play it. I actually ended up pre-ordering this game, but didn't have time to actually play it since I was still beating the second Resident Evil, the Claire portion. And then I decided to play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Master 2, which I have those videos on my channel if you want to go check them out. Uh, I never played the original. Resident Evil 3. Uh, I've watched my brother play it before because he was a huge fan of the game. I've seen like a lot of cutscenes. I've seen like the intros, you know, like uh, with the whole horde of zombies overtaking the city and whatnot, and you know that there's nemesis and whatnot. So I know most of the story, but I don't know like all the exact details, like all the hardcore Resident Evil 3 fans do. But um, yeah, I've heard it's a good game. I've heard, I mean, I've seen mixed reviews. I think on Metacritic because they supposedly the game's really short. But uh, I heard that it was short and sweet, that it was still pretty good, even though they ended up cutting out a lot of, uh, they ended up cutting out a lot of content from the original that uh, a lot of fans were pissed off about. But since I didn't play the original, it shouldn't be a huge issue for me. So hopefully you guys enjoy this walkthrough, and uh, I'll we'll make sure not to talk during the cutscenes. And hope you guys enjoy. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs roam the city, burning buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting there are tonight. Fires burning, there are people being he was knocked out conscious in the city. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Game. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Starting with first person view. So I'm guessing that we are the main character of the third one, right? It's Jill Valentine. Unless I made a switcheroo and made me be another character here. Let's go to this window. Huge ass storm. Look at this. It's kind of a shitty apartment. I, mean, I know she's a cop. I don't know what their salaries are, but I thought they're better now. <laughs> this is supposed to be what year? It's 1998, something like that, right? Uh, that doesn't really tell me the year there. Okay, we got some pictures. That picture in the middle with the helicopter. I know that one's in the second Resident Evil when she's all this, the Stardust members. Which is like the special, it's like SWAT or something. It's like the special... 
tactics and rescue, I think is what they're called. Oh, here, here it is. That one right there. Yeah. Okay, so she's been planning out. Hey, that lady, that's uh, Lady Birkin. The wife of the scientist that the, the, the injected himself in the second one. I don't know who that guy is. She's got the whole thing planned out about bringing down Umbrella. That's what it looks like. Doing some uh, detective work. Seven, eight, raccoon times. That's a cool detail that the, the, the paper actually shakes. Okay, we got a little bit of clothes. Old ass stereo system. else to pick up here? No. Let's see if next to the bed I can pick something up. Nope. No recordings. No nothing. Okay. Let's go this way. I guess they're trying to sh guide me towards the light. Okay. So I am Jill. Someone's got an intense PTSD. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Escape RC on the 30th. So right now it's the, what does that say? Worst month in my life. It's the 28th. I never played the uh, the first one, the, uh, the one in the mansion. I know that it's her and Chris Redfield. Jill's report, let's read this. September 26, 1998, okay, now we know the year. It's the same as Resident Evil 2. I think, oh yeah, that's true. I think these two interlap at some point. So it's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-virus, those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below bite from an infected individual allowing the mixing of bodily fluids contact with crows which have eaten the infected carry-on due to the strength of the virus airborne infection cannot be discounted it should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms it's unclear whether it is because this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape still. I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Uh, okay. Investigation notes. Umbrella Pharmaceutical Company, industry leader in market share. Focus on military weapons development while maintaining covert as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility. Predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office. Effectively controls the city. Okay. I didn't know that that's what... I mean, I know they were a pharmaceutical company, but I didn't know it was like their covert uh, 
deal for making biological weapons. I never understood the purpose, I guess, of the uh, Umbrella Corporation. Is it just owning the whole world or? Too many pills. Okay, somebody's having a hard time sleeping. And then we got the news. Looks like it's all chaotic, like the intro. One, th one thing I will say is that I really liked the intro video of the original Resident Evil 3 where you see uh, you see the police car like parking and then you see uh, you know the whole horde of zombies walking up and then there's all these cops arriving and the SWAT team coming out and then they start shooting the zombies but there's so many of them and then you start overrunning the cops and then you have the umbrella soldiers dropping in and being outrun in hospitals and all. I, I really like that uh, intro and I was kind of hoping that they would show that intro in this game with newer graphics but one can only wish certain things and a lot of times they don't do them but it would have been great to see it like remade you know let's see message from a colleague to Jill Valentine hey hotshot how you holding up I still can't believe Iron suspended you it's such bullshit he ought to pin on uh, pin a medal on you for making it out on that hell hole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Ward has it that you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by a while. You try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Ah, oh, I know Brad. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Huh. Yeah, Brad Vickers was the pilot from the uh, original. I know that a little bit right there. And I know what happens to him in the original one, too. So we'll see how they deal with that in this one. If they end up changing it much or not. Uh, Minato's Pizza. Hey, maybe that's where the pizza's from. Okay, let's let's keep looking at the... Do I have to go out? No, not going out yet. Okay. person. I like it. Who could that be? Bakery bread. Raccoon milk. Is that what that said? <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright, I'm coming. Wait, is this a new note? Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are there Iron's men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like living dead. I'm uh, uh, sorry about the phone. I know. But I won't let him them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that they have been killed or whatever, this is the... Uh, oh, shit. I lost my train. Uh, or whatever. This is... It is they do to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Okay. I think she's sending this to Chris Redfield, who is out in Europe, at least from what they said on the second Resident Evil. And and the Chief Irons Just was step. paid by Umbrella. So for those of you that don't know. And the second one, they say it. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah!
thing. Okay, how, did, how did he break a wall? Now he can't break the damn wooden door. <laughs> oh shit, run! Out of here. Ooh. So I remember in the original, there's an explosion and you just roll out. I know, but right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town, you and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. God, this all happened so fast. I don't know. Oh, shit. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Our clay is where the mansion incident happened. I've been dreaming. How could this many people be infected? Brad! Here they come! In here! There's so many. Oh, let's go. Like, dude, open the door, bro. Mm. Ah, shit. shit! Let's go! My aim is so off. I'm already out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alright, so... Let's run past the bus. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. 
What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can. The only it. safe place is in here. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a bang-up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than hear to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Man, what a douche. Okay, let's leave him. Is there any ammo in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, wait. We got something here. Magnum. Uh... What? This pistol's Magnum? Oh shit. Wait. Uh, let's go. Oh shit. Run. Go. To dodge these guys? Yeah, let's dodge them. Out of here. Ugh. Come on. Or is it weird that they just like, oh, they see me in a hall running? And they. Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos. And I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. Okay, let's go ahead and end this video here. We'll continue the next part.